to be silent with your own problem. That means that problem will be like a silent killer. It means that problem will be like a cancer into your body. It will be like a wound. And that wound will continue, continue growing, continue expanding, continue hurting you, and you continue breathing inside your heart. But when you speak, there will be healing. When you speak, there is a solution. When we communicate, we build the marriage. But when we do not communicate, we destroy the relationship, we destroy that foundation of the marriage that was built. You become silent and, and you, you lack sharing what you are feeling. No, that is silence, being silence, it kills you deep. It hurts you. You feel a lot of burdens and you get even tired of the marriage. Other, there is a need, yes, to, to open our heart to each other. Be open and share to him because if we do not have openness, therefore that marriage will be like there is a war. There is a war there. When you, you are married, you are not married with your relatives. That now, oh, you can bring your relatives, all of your relatives, you bring them in the marriage, you bring them in the family. Your family are all in the sofa seat. All in the sofa seat. When you go to there, this is your mother in law. When you go to there, this is your father in law. When you go there, this is your sister, this is your brother, this is your cousin, this is your whoever. Now, you wonder, uh, who, who did you marry? Who did you marry? Did you marry your wife or you, you married your, your whole of your family? The Bible say marriage should be honored and should be given uh, respect. So it should not be that uh, they are they are stepping in 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 some are in the bedroom the, where no let there be a distance or a gap. I'm not saying it's bad for your family or your relative to come in uh, to to visit. They can visit, but let them not visit for eternity. Always there. If they come, let them visit. Then they leave. They go back. They respect. Them. Leave away the Nollywood uh, rav. Leave away the soap opera rav. Leave away those cinema rav that we see. Leave them away. Your husband cannot be like uh, a Romeo, and your wife cannot be like a uh, Paroma. Paroma. No, 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 no. Your wife is special. The way she is created, she is created for you. We will not run to keep our marriage by the other people. I tell you, your marriage will be corrupted. It will not go far because it shall be built in the in a faulty foundation. Yours is totally different. So pray God for the will of God upon your marriage. Praise Jesus.